Hello, it's me again. As you can see, I'm not in Russia. I'm stuck in Bali because of all of this COVID situation. And we decided not to stop doing our channel because you like it. You push the hard button all the time because you really do it. <laughs> decided go not to Russia today because we cannot we go to Russian so follow me this is a villa named Nirvana it's uh, here in Seminyak district in Bali and the few Russians as I know because of the telegram channel they stuck here they rent a villa and they just build their home for unknown period of time and we will just give them a visit and take a look how do the Russian people live here in Bali and maybe we'll have a free meal because I'm hungry to be honest and yeah sorry for the technical issues we just didn't take our cameras and uh, everything here in Bali so the, just the people here local people Russians also help me out give me a microphone we put a corn and yeah so it's it'll be a little strange but that's why you're loving us yeah hello how are you are you fine thank you and how yeah. are you have you ever been in Russia yeah yeah you've Lasada. been in Russia oh yes have you ever been in Russia oh not speak English. Do you want to go to Russia? Yes. 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 Okay. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's very friendly. Same is in Russia. Okay, let's go. And of course, they know that we're about to come, but just let's do it for, you know, in a good tone. Whoa, not bad. Take a look at this. You might hear people in Russia are very friendly and today when we came here no, no, there is nobody around the village just open and everything you know it's just free to do anything so I just decided to put my back here okay and over there there is a omelet on the table I don't know is it somebody just didn't finish it or is just for me I'll put my corn over here it's very important now every not very important to not to eat it by somebody it's it's a microphone it's not a corn the omelet was amazing so I'm feeling much more better now so if uh, the people not walking out so we will step in and just you know get a first contact with our all initiative and the first one will be the person who's living in this room the beautiful one but there was there is a tent on a window so we don't know what's What's inside? What's inside? You know, like a, uh, like a film by David Fincher. What's in the box? What's in the box? By Brad Pitt. Okay, step in. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we are ready to take a first interview with me, your host, uh, Sergey and... Kate. Kate. Oh, such a darling. Okay, Kate, where do you live in Russia? Moscow. Moscow. Can you please tell us your like favorite places in Moscow? Я думаю, что, наверное, это Покровка. Улица Покровка. The Pokrovka Street. We will take a walk there. Метро Китай город. And Chinatown, Metro Chinatown. <laughs> okay, tell us what is your favorite dish like? Your food, Russian food? Борщ. Наваристый вкусный борщ со сметанкой. And uh, if, for example, uh, our viewers would like to go to Russia, which is uh, the places and what you advise them to do in Russia? Я бы обязательно посоветовала попробовать борщ со стопочкой нашей отличной водочки. Идеальное сочетание, всем советую. Okay, uh, борщ and vodka. Nice. So, there is two more uh, very adorable Russian girls. And can I ask you where you're from? I'm from Russia. I'm too. Uh, they're from Russia. And from which city are you? Are? St. Petersburg, Moscow. St. Petersburg and Moscow. Moscow is the capital and St. Petersburg is like cultural and also north capital of Russia. And your favorite national Russian food? Uh, Corn maybe? No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Pasta. <laughs> Pasta. Heard sounds a little bit, sounds a little bit Italian, but we're in Russia. Borscht. 
Bosch now is like get a second, you know, second goal, second vote for him. And uh, if, for example, our viewers would like to go to Russia, they made such a decision. Which places and what kind of experience you suggest them to have in Russia? Баньку нужно и в снежок голыми попами кверху. Водки надо попить с местными. Okay, so the first answer was like to go to a banya, but a winter period of time. I will show you my diary and you can see that we are really doing this. And Yanni here told us that it's just, you have to drink some vodka with local guys. Uh, you can drink vodka with me. And this guy on the dock over there is my best friend Alexander. I know him for 10 minutes, but he gave me the microphone and save our show. So I don't want to disturb him while he's taking a rest, you know. So just one question, Alexander. Kira, hello. Uh, what is the best thing for in a foreigner to do in Russia, for your opinion? Um, I think you need to go to St. Petersburg. We need to go to St. Petersburg. Thank you. Yeah. And now we're going to the last guy here in the villa. His name is Ilya and he's the master cook. Like he's a cooking master. I don't know how to say it correctly, but... And he said that he will gonna make some pancakes. It's a traditional Russian stuff, you know, like flat ones, not like everywhere around the world, with like sugared milk and... Corn TV presents Fast Interviews. And here today is Ilya, master chef cook. Hello, Ilya. Hello. Uh, what are you doing in here in Bali? I'm um, chill. Okay, where are from? From Russia, I mean. St. Petersburg. Nice. What is your favorite dish? Your favorite food? Mm, Himkali. <laughs> Himkali, it's from Georgia. And, okay, that was a fast interview with Ilya. And is it true that you're gonna make a pancakes for us today? Yeah, m we cook pancakes today. We will cook pancakes today. See you around. Stay, stay tuned on, on Go to Russia. Subscribe our channel. Press the heart button and, you know, put your answers to the commentary line. Yeah! Our next guest is the winner of the Russian competition. Hello, you are beautiful. And she's living upstairs like all the princes and the queens do. So let's climb up. It's very hard, man. Two hours later. But it's my job. It's my duty. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Bam! We're back on Corn TV with the fast interviews right here on the rooftop with the beautiful... Um, uh, what is Anna. your name? With the beautiful Anna. Okay, Anna, just a few questions for you. Uh, where in Russia do you live? Uh, in Moscow. Can I have your cell phone number? No. <laughs> no! God, please, no! 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 Next question. Uh, if, the, for example, uh, somebody will came to Russia for the first time, what things you advise him to do in Russia in the first place? So she said that you need to take a tan, you know, uh, a, a meat, go to the forest and make some barbecue. And what is your favorite food in Russia, of course? Вареники с картошкой. Untranslatable. I'll just show you a picture right now, right here. Ping! Вареники с картошкой. What are you doing here in the villa? How do you spend your days? Мы встречаем рассветы, провожаем закаты, вкусно едим, развлекаемся, плаваем в бассейне и отдыхаем. And that's what is we're going to do today here on Go to Russians. Yeah. So, maybe you can leave your number. No, 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 Hey there again, it's me, and now we're going to the shop with Ilya, Ilya over there, our friend, and because uh, we need to make a pancakes and we need eggs, so we're going just to buy eggs, and we'll try to make it like a little journey, because everything here in Bali is locked down like everywhere else in the world, and there is no many options, you know, to have a little fun, like there is a shop and there is a bowl, hey we! So here we are at the Pipito shop and our mission is to buy some beautiful, tasty eggs to make a perfect pancakes. Russian style, baby, yeah! I can live here forever because it's very hot outside, but inside it's very cold. I mean, not cold, it's fresh. Oh, eggs. We've buy some eggs. Ilya, uh, one question. 
What is the most important thing to pick a good X? Fresh. Take a look at the date <laughs> and the X supposed to be fresh. So this one are good. Good. Good X. Nice. It will be our debut. Our kitchen our meal block on the corn TV. So many interesting things here which you won't be able to see in Russia, but most of it, of course, is very familiar. For example, corn over here. Hello, 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 yeah. My corn is a micro, micro, micro corn. Alcohol is very bad, but sometimes, especially now, it's very important to drink a little bit, right? Why is alcohol a very necessary thing to beat the corona? Samagon. Samagon. And Samagon. We buy some yogurt, follow me. A little bit of alcohol, to be honest, is help you out to avoid the getting a disease. But the alcohol is over there and it's very expensive. Like, for example, a bottle of vodka could cost 500,000 Indian Asian rupees. It's the same equivalent as 2,500 rubles. It's about $35 for one simple bottle, the cheapest one. Uh, it's all represented on, on the right side. Let's take a look, let's take a look. Follow me. This is a medicine and the prices is quite high. Due to this whole situation with the corona and the, you know, all these restrictions we've been putting all over the world and the flies are cancelled. So we cannot back go to Russia, but we wanted to because there are so many beautiful, interesting things for you to look at and for me to show you. So, but while we're stuck here we're trying to do our best so yeah go to russians the thing is i wanted to say maybe if you think that we are irresponsible it's not like this because we really you know are seriously uh, involved in the process we're washing our hands we're not stuck in at home just because the virus has not survived the high temperature so it's better to stay on the sun than instead of being just locked down in your room from one side from a second side it's very important to like be you know healthy with good immune system so we eat ginger every day and everything like this so yeah be responsible stay on bali stay tuned to go to russia Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I'm eating the microphone. Um. So as you can see, the Russian people are very united every time when there's some troubles in the world and everything okay. Still, we're always gathering at one table, sharing with, us with everyone else and today we will share the pancakes. So if you'll go to Russia, and I hope you really do, because if you're an explorer, you're like just Russia is 80% of all the world. I mean, all the land is basically like a Russia, 80%. If you want to discover the world, the first place you need to go is go to Russia. And, you know, in Russia we say, when I'm eating, um, um, I'm not talking, because, uh, you know, it's very bad to speak with this thing. So, I'm about to eat a wonderful pancake, so... Suksuma, my friends. Suksuma. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.